everybody. Welcome to the Santa Dukaram National Model School. I'm Varsha Shetty and in today's session, we are going to discuss about the Project Tiger. What is this Project Tiger and what are the aims of this Project Tiger? It is very, very necessary to understood this. My dear student, this Project Tiger is one of the Tiger Conservation Program launched in April 1973. It was launched by the government of India and it has become one of the most successful wildlife conservation activity. With the help of this project tiger, we got the success to maintain the population of the tiger. Tiger is one of the top most carnivores in the ecosystem and that's why it is very, very important to maintain the population of the tiger. My dear student, move toward the chief objective of the Project Tiger. The first chief object of the Project Tiger is to maintain the population of the tiger for scientific, ecological, economic, aesthetic, as well as the cultural values. When we can maintain the population of the Project Tiger, it is possible when and when only we reduce the factor that causes the diminishing of the tiger habitat. Once we protect the tiger, habitat of the tiger, automatically we are able to maintain the population of the tiger. So my dear student, these are the aims or the objectives of the project tiger. Here I'm showing you the one organization, National Tiger Conservation Authority. This organization was established in the 2015 and this Project Tiger is administrated by this organization. And the name of this organization is National Tiger Conservation Authority. Here, I would like to show you the resource sites of the tiger in our India. With the help of that map, it is very clear that there are the most of the resource sites which are present in the Madhya Pradesh. And that's why no doubt the population of the tiger is high in the Madhya Pradesh. As well as here, I'm showing you the list of different national parks where the project tiger is implemented, like the Corbett, Ranthambur, Kaziranga, Sundarban, Melghat, Kana, all these are the different names of the national park where this project tiger is implemented from the 1973. Here, I would like to show you the one graph. With the help of the, this graph, it is very, very clear that the how the population of the tiger is goes on increasing. In the 2006, the population was only the 1,411. But now in 2018, the population, it became near about 3,000. And now in 2018, 21, it's more than 3,000. So we can say that the rover is back in India. We got a success to conserve our Bengal tiger. So this is a, one of the great achievement of government India. My dear student, this is the achievement of all the people, all the factors which are present in the society the government as well as the common people as well as the, we can say that uh, authority or administration, all are included and then, and then only it became successful. My dear student, to conserve the tiger, the whole world is celebrating the 29th July as an international tiger day. So this is about the project tiger. In the next session, we are going to discuss about the classification of the animal in the red data book. Bye everybody. Thank you a lot.